This is a note on current. What is the significance of current? What does it mean when we have a current? Uh, well, when you think of water, it reminds us of water flowing. When we think of electricity, it's a flow of electrons. And the unit of measure for the flow of electricity is the ampere. And we use them two units to describe the ampere. It's a unit that's described by a flow of electrons of one coulomb per second. And one coulomb is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons. That's a number that's hard to imagine the meaning of. It's a huge number. And that's because electrons are extremely small. So uh, just to help you understand how big of a number it is, I asked how much is 6.25 times 10 to the 18. And I said a drop of water is about 0 0.04 milliliters. So 25 drops of water equals 1 ml. And a tablespoon is about 10 mls. And a 10 ml is about 250 drops. So if you took 6.25 times 10 to the 18 drops of water, you would divide by 25 to get how many mLs that is, divide by 1,000 to find out how many liters that is, divide by 1,000 again to find how many tons, because 1,000 liters of water equals one ton. And one ton of water is not as much as you might think. It's about, if you could imagine an aquarium one meter wide, one meter high, and one meter thick, full of water, it would weigh one ton. It would have one ton of water. Just for the water, it would weigh one ton. Never mind the class. So uh, you would have 2.5 times 10 to the 11 tons of water if you had 6.25 times the 18 drops. And how much water is that? 2.5 uh, times 10 to the 11 tons? It's enough to make a cube 6.3 kilometers in height. So imagine an aquarium 6.3 kilometers long, 6.3 kilometers wide, and 6.3 kilometers deep, that's how much 2.5 times 10 to the 11 tons of water is. And that's how many drops of water there would be in that aquarium, 6.25 times 10 to the 18. And that number is how many electrons there are in one coulomb of electricity. How much is one coulomb of electricity? It's that many electrons flowing through a circuit in one for every second. So a one amp of flow of electricity means that many electrons are flowing through the wire every second. So conclusion, electrons are very, very small. The electric current in a metallic conductor is an electron flow from negative to positive, as, we, as we've seen before. It comes out of the negative side of the battery, flows through the wire, and it goes back into the positive side of the battery. So here's a question we can use. We can solve now using this new knowledge. A circuit with a 12-volt battery has a load with a resistance of 3 ohms. How many electrons will flow in the circuit in one minute? So we use Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, where V stands for the voltage, I stands for the current, and R is the resistance. We rearrange the equation, we transpose the R, we put it under the V, so we get that I is equal to V over R, and 12 volts over 3 ohms gives you 4 amps. That amps means there's 4 coulombs of electricity flowing through the wire every second. Now if we're asked how much electricity flows in one minute, we're going to multiply by 60 because there are 60 seconds in a minute. That's what this conversion factor is about. So we have four coulombs flowing of, of electricity flowing through the wire per second for 60 seconds. That means, that means 240 coulombs per minute. And we then multiply by 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons per coulomb. We'll get that you have 1.5 times 10 to the 21 electrons flowing through that circuit in one minute. And here's another example for your perusal if you want to try to solve it. Try to look at it, uh, try to just copy the question and try to do it without looking at the answer, but here's the answer. It's 5.635 times 10 to the 21 electrons. <laughs>